So in this video, I'm gonna try and help you understand why you might be getting numb feet or hot foot as the syndrome is sometimes called in cycling. So first and foremost, the most obvious thing is make sure you're not over tightening your shoes. Um, that first of all will, could lead to blood restriction or even pressure on a nerve and that can lead to you having numbness. Remember when you're cycling and you go out on a hot day, that the blood pools in the feet. It's the furthest place away from your uh, from your heart. So it's never to be hard to get blood swelling and blood back from there so it tends to pull in the foot so what starts off at the beginning is feeling like it's a, a quite a nice comfortable fit you might need to loosen your shoes off so there's one reason if your numbness and tingling or pain is coming on later during a ride another reason is that um, you might be using the wrong type of cycling shoe quite a lot of people just see the foot here there's the big toe and the little toe but People are very variable, and some people have wider forefeet. You might recognize yourself as one of them. And certain brands, shoe brands, suit them better. For example, Shimano do a wide fitting cycling shoe, and a lot of people with slightly wider feet will get into those. If you are in too narrow a shoe and your foot's getting squashed up like this, as you can see, what that does is it bunches the metatarsals or your toes together, and that can cause problems with the nerves that sit in between them. So make sure that your shoe is wide enough for you or and fitting them. Tightening up as it should do. The last reason I wanted to point out is a condition known as Morton's neuroma. Um, basically, just in here, there's a whole bundle of nerves that sit underneath the in between the gap between the first and the second metatarsal, just in there. If you um, have a foot posture that lends itself to having issues with that, cycling creates much more than running or walking because it's a four foot sport. And here you have the pedal spindle or the cleat just underneath there normally, and you're pushing all that pressure through there. And if your foot is um, deforming in a certain way, you can put pressure on this and that can give you very specific pins and needles. Um, a simple metatarsal button that's sometimes available with insoles that you buy with cycling shoes is a little button here, it's a little circular piece of thing, sits in there and can really open up that area and get rid of it. However, if you've got that condition and you're at all worried, you should seek out help from a qualified podiatrist or somebody who can make you a corrective orthotic. Remember when you go and see those podiatrists that they tell you that this is for your cycling shoe because most orthotics are rear foot catching and help you out with posture there. But of course, cycling is a four foot sport. We always have to remember that.